My name is Jesse Reichler from DonationCoder.com and the Co-op for Two YouTube channel. Today I'm going to demonstrate a little awkwardly a plugin I've written for OBS called Flip Screen. It's a plugin, but it also requires a little bit of a mod to the OBS core that I've submitted that hopefully will get accepted. So this is going to be a confusing one to explain. So I've got a camera behind me filming the, the view that I can see, which you'll be watching right now. So you can see how I film my live streams. I've got a camera. In back of the camera is a nice big 32 inch monitor showing the OBS preview window, which I can see here. Normally I've got other stuff in this window showing me stats and everything, but I've got it set up here to maximize the effect so you can see it. Okay, so I'm gonna show you how I use this flip screen plugin, what it does. And to show you that, I'm gonna show you plain vanilla OBS in this situation where I'm reading from a split screen. So when I play, I play a lot of video game, a lot of board games on my channel and most of them involve a great deal of reading and I like to split screen so the audience can see the text as I'm reading it. So I'm gonna to switch to one of those views. Okay, so here we have it here. As you can see, I'm on the left hand side of your screen split screened with the top down view from a top down camera of a page of text here and you can see from the view of my back camera which i wouldn't normally have set up but i have set up for this what i can see what i can see is the camera in front of the split screen obscuring where this text is being shown on the split screen. So the camera is set up in such a way that it covers the right hand side. Now I could split this, but that's not going to affect what's happening here. Okay, so let's zoom in to a piece of text that I might read. This plugin that does the automatic zooming is a separate plugin I've written. And you can find a video of that on YouTube as well. Okay. So this would be the setup that I might use on one of my streams. I've zoomed in on some text. Now I would like to read it off the screen. Now why would I like to read it off the screen? Well, if I, have, if I look down and read it, it looks a little weird that I'm looking down for a long period of time, but also the audio is a little muddled, so I'd prefer to be able to read it off the screen. Okay, so here's the problem. Let's say I'm reading Jasper shook his head. Nothing, thank you. No, the Musketeers are a team of professional entertainers. Okay, so I'm looking now at that text on the right-hand split of the screen. And I'll exaggerate a little bit. I'll look a little bit more off to the right, to the far edge of that monitor. What you will notice in the recording, which you should be able to see from the back view of the camera or the recording, is that when I'm looking to the right hand side of my split screen, it looks to the audience like I'm looking off in the other direction, the wrong direction. I'm not looking towards where the split screen text is. Now that happens regardless of whether I split the text on the left or the right. If the text was on the left and I look to the left, it's going to appear to the viewer like I'm looking off screen instead of towards the text. That's just the nature of the fact that the monitor is behind the camera. Whatever direction, I, whatever, wherever the split screen of the text is, if I look towards it, it's going to look like I'm looking off screen to the user. It's very disorienting. So this is plain vanilla OBS. Okay, now I'm going to go in and enable the new feature, but I'm actually going to have to switch away. Okay, so let's turn on the flip screen feature. Now, what does the flip screen feature do? Well, I'm going to go to the scene where it's configured. It's a little odd, but it's in a little helper scene. Okay. 
So I'm gonna switch back to the front view, nothing happens. But now look what happens, whoops, that's not the right one. Okay, so now you should see, notice what's happened. The camera sees what I see, which is the text is now on the left of the screen. So now I'm going to look at the text as if I was reading it here. Jasper shook his head. No, nothing, thank you. No, the Musketeers are a team of professional entertainers. So I'm looking to the left. But now what you see on your recording, what the audience will see on the streaming is that the text is still on the right. Only what I see in my preview of OBS has been cut down the middle, spliced, and swapped. So what streaming doesn't change at all. The only thing that this plugin does is for certain scenes, it's told where to splice down the center and swap the left and right positions. So that what I see makes me look in the direction that the audience will perceive as me looking towards the text, towards that side of the split screen. So I'll, I'll exaggerate a little bit. I'll look off to the left, to the far left of my view. So if you're looking at what the back camera sees, what I see, I'll still appear like I'm looking in the wrong direction. You can see if I just exaggerate my head. But you'll see now in the inset that I show on this video that what the audience will see is that the text is not, has not been moved to the left. That's the plugin just changing what the preview shows me. Actually, what the audience sees is the original location, the original unmolested scene, which has the text on the left. And this works whether you put the text originally on the left or right. It just swaps it so that when I'm looking, it looks in the right direction. And we can actually see that if I bring back the controls and start and stop recording, it might be a little easier to see from the back camera. So let me do that now. Okay, I've brought back the controls here so I can turn off and on recording. So I've configured this plugin now to only happen, only flip when I'm recording or streaming. So I'm going to click stop recording now. What you should see is it should flip back to the original. Okay. Remember, the audience wouldn't see it. So, but just what I see and what this back camera, which is showing what I see, will show the flip. So remember, so here's the way to do it. This view you see now on the preview window is exactly what's going to be streaming out to the audience. It's not going to change when I click record. What streams out to the audience is going to be exactly this, text on the right-hand side. But now when I click recording, what I see, only the preview of what I see, not what streams out, is going to flip. So I'm going to click it now. And you can see it's flipped for, uh, it's flipped for us, but not flipped for the audience. A little hard to wrap your head around. And remember, it's you configure which scenes and where the flip is. So you could flip it. You don't have to have the split screen exactly in the center, wherever it is, and it won't affect, won't affect scenes that you don't tell it to, that you don't tell it there's a split in. So a little hard to wrap your head around, but it's actually a simple and elegant solution to a disconcerting effect when you're reading off the, the screen. And I should note, I don't just use it when I'm reading text off the screen. I also use it when I chat with an audience. I split the screen and have the a chat window, chat browser source split on one side of the screen. And I might answer questions and talk back and forth with the chat shown on one side. And 
I use this plugin in the exact same way so that it looks like I'm looking in the right, in the correct direction towards the split that the audience sees. 